Hey, I wanted to give you a quick overview of Parabola, which is a tool for teams to create and collaborate on all of their internal reports and workflows. So this is the canvas, and this is where you build your flows. And flows can either pull in data from your existing tools, transform it in all kinds of different ways, really similar to how you would do it in a spreadsheet, or send it off to new places. So in Parabola, you basically get to automate what's currently a really manual repetitive processes. Then you also get to document them you know, kind of for free along the way. Whereas you can see this flow, uh, even a really simple one, already starting to make sense of, oh, this is a process where we're pulling in data from Shopify, grabbing it from Google Sheets, ultimately joining it together. And you can drill into any of these steps to understand the exact set of data behind the scenes and all of the configuration. In this case, orders from the past 30 days with a whole bunch of uh, really detailed information attached. What's great about these is they also, they're not just running once while you're using them, you can also publish them and have them run behind the scenes. So in this case, I can have it run every single day at 8 a.m. Maybe I actually uh, wanna change that to midnight to make sure that it's right, right as the day turns over. You can have flows run in response to receiving emails at a given email address uh, and a variety of other ways that you can, you can trigger and, and schedule flows. So let's take, a, let's take a look back here at actually what this flow is doing to, to make this a little more concrete. In this case, we are an e-commerce store and we're selling on Shopify. And then we also work with a third-party logistics warehouse that has uh, kind of keeps all of our inventory. So I can pull in past 30 days worth of data from Shopify, and I can grab uh, just a little subset of our inventory data that I already have in a Google Sheet that's filtered down to show just items that are about to be out of stock. What I'm doing in this flow is I'm cleaning up that Shopify data to grab just the columns that I care about, grouping it so that I can summarize for each of the items on a given order how many have we sold in the past 30 days and how much revenue do we make from that. And then I can combine these two data sets together to understand for all of the items that are about to be out of stock, what, uh, what did we sell in the past 30 days? And then how much did we make from selling those things? which tells us that anything that we sold more of in the past 30 days than we currently have in stock, we're likely to go out of stock on in the next 30 days. And then this is about how much money we could expect to miss out on as, as, a, as an example. So this is quite helpful. And the reason why we had that running every day at midnight is we wanted to tell our team, hey, these are items we're about to go out of stock on. Let's make sure we put in a new order well before we're actually out of stock so we don't miss potential days of sales. Really important kind of inventory management style use case that we see a lot of our customers doing. But one of the great things about Parabola, as I, was, as I was starting to say here, is this is not just a simple automation. You can document what you're doing, but then you can also share what you're doing with the rest of your team. So this Google Sheet, I was doing some work in Google Sheets, but that's not really great because I still had to do manual work to filter down to what we have that's about to go out of stock. But it turns out that somebody else on my team has already figured out how to pull in data directly from our outsourced warehouse into Parabola, and they sent me how to do that. So I can just pull that in here. And I have this nicely documented card that shows how they set this up. So what they're doing is they're taking this dedicated email address we've given them. They've told their third-party logistics warehouse to send us a CSV file um, on a daily basis. And then it populates all of our inventory we have in stock across all of our items. Uh, and then here, we're just filtering down that same filter to just the, just the five uh, things, that are, things that have five items in stock or less, which helps us understand the things we're about to go out of stock on. So in Parabola, this is all really simple to change. All I have to do is detach this, this old way I was pulling in data, put it off to the side because I don't need it anymore, uh, and wire up the new data set. And as you can see, I get all of my data in place. What's interesting here is, as you saw, I, I just changed the, the rules in this combined table step, and I'm getting data that doesn't quite look familiar. And so what's nice about Parabola, it's totally sandboxed. It's easy to play around with. I don't have to worry about getting something wrong. All I have to do is make a change. Say, actually, I meant to have this you know, inverted. Let's make sure that's right. And cool, this is the, the same data set I was expecting before. It's just that easy uh, to, to make changes in Parabola. Uh, and now we have a nice flow that's fully running connected to our live data set. Cool, this is just kind of the beginning, scratching the surface with Parabola. You could imagine taking this and extending it out a lot further. So maybe one degree more complicated than this, you could imagine extending this flow to pull in data from, from Shopify, grab current inventory, whether from that Google Sheet or from an inbound email, identify those back orders with a little bit more logic in place, 
then also pull in what we currently have in transit because we know we have some items on a, on a ship that are on the way that are likely to arrive within the next two weeks and we want to be able to essentially pre-sell items that we have in transit so we don't go fully out of stock on our store. Uh, and then we can take some interesting automated action at, at the end of all of this. We can track back ordered uh, customers who we accidentally oversold and have support reach out to them. We can place new orders with our suppliers like, like in that previous flow. And we can even directly update things in Shopify to uh, mark products that are coming soon so that customers know, hey, if I place this order now, I shouldn't expect it for two weeks, but I can still place an order without having to wait. So just scratching the surface of what, what Parabola can do, uh, feel free to sign up and play around and would love to hear what you're working on and see how we can help.